custom text animation is the most demandable tutorial because this looks absolutely amazing and engaging as well. So today's video, I'll show you how to animate custom text in After Effects. Also, I'll share some pro tips and powerful expressions that will help you improve your skills and speed up your workflow. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create clean, professional looking text animations that will make your project stand out. So stick around and let's get started. First things first, let's create a new composition by clicking this box. Name this comp Main Comp. I set the resolution of this composition to Full HD. Alright, now I select the text tool and write anything, like brand. Then I align this text to the center of this composition. Next, I select this layer and convert it into a shape layer. Quickly change the color label of it to recognize it better. Now you can delete this layer. Right now, the letters of this word are in a single layer, but I want to separate them into different layers. Let's see how to do it. First, select the layer and duplicate it four times. So we have five layers in the composition, one layer for each letter. Now rename the layers one by one. After that, select the first layer and open its content section. Under this, you can find all the letters. Now carefully select all the letters except B and delete them. If I solo this layer, you can see there is only one letter left in this layer. Next, repeat this process with the rest of the layers. Now we have layers and each layer has a single letter. Next, select all letters between the first and last letters. Then, change their color label. Hide those layers and lock them as well. Next, I select the first letter and zoom in a bit. Then I set the anchor point to the bottom of this letter, like this. Now select the last letter and set the anchor point to the bottom of this letter as well. Then select both letters, open the position properties, move the time indicator to around 130 seconds and add a keyframe. Now go back to the first frame and add one more keyframe. After that, go to the Align panel and click this horizontal align icon so that the letters come together like this. Now open the Title Action Safe Guideline so we can see the center position of this composition. I open the ruler and add a guideline to the center of this composition. Next, select the first letter and solo it so we can see only this letter. Then, I move this letter this way. So the anchor point is placed at the center of this composition. Now I repeat this process with the D letter. Check the animation. Now I place the time indicator at the last keyframe and with both layers selected, I open the path. Then I simply added a keyframe at this point. Next, I move back around one second and add another keyframe here. Alright, now I select the first letter and zoom in a bit. Pay attention to this step. I switched to the pen tool and clicked one of the path points to highlight the path. Then I hold Alt on the keyboard and drag the mouse to select multiple paths together. Keep in mind that I only select the path points I want to change. Now I selected some paths and double clicked on them to see this box. Now I can easily change the paths very precisely, like this. Let's check the animation. It looks good, so I repeat this process with the last letter. Nice, the animation looks good for now. After that, select the path keyframes of both layers and drag them forward by around one second. Now open the scale properties of both layers and add a keyframe. Then uncheck this link icon. Next, go back to the first frame and change the Y value of the scale to zero. Let's check the animation. Nice, next press U to see all the keyframes. 
Then select them and move them forward by around 2 seconds. Now close the layers and lock them as well. Animate lines. Select the ellipse tool, making sure the fill option is on and the stroke is off. Then I create a small circle. Let's name this layer circle. I also change the color label of it. After that, I reduce the opacity of this layer to around 50%, then lock this layer. Now this is our reference. Next, I select the pen tool and change the fill option to none, then increase the stroke to around 10 pixels. Let's expand the view so you can see it better. Now I am making a path like this with the help of the pen tool. See how I give shape to this path. Take your time and make it perfect. Nice. Let's refine it a little bit, so it looks good. All right. I just created a curved line that transforms into a spiral shape in the center. Next, select the layer and rename it Line 1. Also, increase the stroke width to around 60. With the layer selected, open cap options and change the cap to round cap. Then search for taper. Simply open the taper options and here change the end length to 100. Add a trim path to this layer. Open the trim path options and add keyframes for the start and end values. Change the end value to 0. Move the time indicator to 2 seconds. Change the end value to 100 and the start value to 100. Adjust the keyframes like this and check the animation. Now select the layer and search for the taper options, then open the taper options. Here, simply change the end length to 100%. Also, change the start length to 100%. Place the time indicator at 1 second and add a keyframe at the start value. Then go back a little bit and change the start length value to 0%. After that, open all the keyframes of this layer and adjust them like this. Let's see the animation. Nice! Let's select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. After that, select these keyframes and open the graph editor and change the graph like this. Let's close the layer and select the pen behind tool. Next, simply set the anchor point to the center of this circle. Then, duplicate this layer two times. Now, we have three line layers in the timeline. Simply select the line two layer, open the rotation properties and rotate it around 90 degrees. Repeat this process with the line three layer. Rotate this layer 180 degrees. Now close the layers and check the animation. If you want, you can adjust the line directions with the help of the rotation properties of the layers. Alright, it's time to add a null object to this composition. Name this null as Line Controller. Now select all the line layers and parent them to the null object. Next, I open the null rotation and add a keyframe at the first frame. Then move the time indicator to 130 seconds and add one more keyframe here. Then I go back to the first frame and change the rotation value to 90 degrees. Let's check the animation. Then easy ease the keyframes for smooth motion. Also, change the graph editor to look something like this. Let's move forward and see how I animate the circle. First, I unlock the circle layer and zoom in a bit. Next, I select the ellipse tool and check the box called Tool Creates Mask. This is a very important step. This way, you can create a mask over the shape layer. Next, 
I open the mask properties and add a keyframe on the mask path. I move forward around one and a half seconds and change the shape of this mask like this. Let's check the animation. Then click this option and choose subtract. Now you can see the circle revealing like this. Then I easy ease this keyframe and increase the opacity of the circle. I noticed a small glitch over the circle. So I quickly fixed this by adjusting the mask. And that's it. Now the animation looks perfect. Now I place the time indicator on the second keyframe, then select all the line layers and trim them. After that, I select the circle layer, open the scale properties and add a keyframe. I also add another keyframe on the position properties. and change the scale properties to 50. Then adjust the position of the circle upward a bit. After that, I animate the circle with the help of the D letter animation by playing with scale and position. Once I finish the circle animation, I place the anchor point where the circle touches the ground. Then, I open the first and last letter keyframes and place them at this point. Next, I select the scale values of both layers and easy ease them. I then open the graph editor and adjust the graph like this. You can see how the circle bounce animation matches the letter scale properties. Now close the graph editor and check the animation. At this point, where the circle animation finishes, I simply trim this layer. After that, I select all the letter layers and change their color to white to match the circle color. Reveal rest of the letters. Now select the rectangle tool and make sure the stroke is set to 0 pixels. I also change its color. Next, move the time indicator to almost the end of the timeline, where our first and last letters are settled. Open the ruler and add a guideline like this. Now we can create a perfect rectangle shape between the letters. Rename this layer as Text Reveal. Then I reduce the opacity of this layer so you can see what's happening. All right, watch carefully. Open the scale properties. Hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch to open the script panel. Here, paste this expression. You can find this expression in the description below as well. Let me explain this expression so you can understand it and edit it on your own for future projects. You can see this B, which is the first letter, and D, which is the last letter. You need to put the first letter layer name here and the last letter layer name here. That's it. Let's see what happens when I play the animation. You can see the rectangle's width is controlled by the two letters. We can do this by animating the scale properties of the rectangle. But when it comes to perfection, this method is better. Now I increase the opacity back to 100%. I hide this layer and lock it. Then I select the rest of the letters and turn on their visibility. Next, I select one of them, go to the effects panel and search for set matte effects. Simply apply it to this layer. Change the track matte layer to text reveal. Next, copy this effect and paste it to the other layers. Let's check the animation. Right now, it's looking very linear. Let's select the first and last layers, open their properties, then select all the keyframes and change them to Easy Ease keyframes. Then select the position keyframes of both layers, open the graph editor and adjust the graph like this. 
also adjusted the path keyframes of both layers to match the overall animation. And that's how you can create a custom text logo animation in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, consider buying me a coffee. Your support makes a big difference and helps me keep creating awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.